Okay, let's go ahead and let's talk about optical zoom versus digital zoom. Uh, you don't have to choose between one or another. Now, all of our systems have digital zoom. We have digital zoom on live video and on video playback because digital zoom is a function of the, the video recorder, the DVR or the MVR. Digital video recorder, network video recorder. First, we're gonna talk about optical zoom. Optical zoom, as far as clarity, is the best. And here's why. It's, it's very similar to professional cameras where we see the, you know, the guy out in, in Africa taking you know, a long shot of a leopard or something. He's got that big lens on it. And he's zooming in. And as he moves, zooms in, the clarity stays crystal clear. There's no loss in, in clarity at all. That's because you've got two lenses and you're adjusting the distance between the lenses and that allows you to zoom in. It's really basically like a magnifying glass. That's really kind of what it's, what it's doing. There's two main types. There's motorized and there's manual. Now motorized zoom lenses, like uh, this pan tilt zoom camera here has a motorized zoom lens in it. Um, and this little bullet camera here has a motorized zoom lens in it. So what happens is you mount the camera, you aim it, you plug it in like a regular camera, and right back at the DVR with the mouse, you can optically zoom this camera, adjust the, the lens in and out um, to see what you want to see. And that's important when you're working outdoors over 45 feet. If you're doing um, surveillance outdoors and it's under 40 feet, even with a high definition camera, um, usually people put wide angle lenses in it. The problem is like a, a 3.6 millimeter lens, that's a wide angle lens, will open up at a 70 degree angle. It opens up about like that. So you could stand in a corner and you can go like this and you're going to know where that camera's going to see. But because it's opening it up at such a wide angle, things get very small very fast. And uh, like these big box stores, they'll, <laughs> they sell you 12 cameras with 3.6 millimeter lenses in them. And it's like, uh, by the time you put that camera 10 feet up and you bring it down to the ground, at 30 feet, the person in the picture looks that big. You, you have no facial recognition, you know, 12 other people in the neighborhood look just like that guy. That defeats the purpose of a surveillance system. Surveillance systems to us is capturing facial recognition, capturing detail, capturing license plates. That's what manual zoom lens outdoors allows you to do, or, or, or motorized. Manual zoom lenses are built into the cameras. <clears throat> For example, this little Vandal Dome right here, very durable camera, it has a zoom and a focus. You just take a small screwdriver, you mount the camera, and you zoom it in. Now that will take two people. One person at the camera, one person back at the recorder, or you know, talking on cell phones. So it's a little bit of work, but you'll have to do it once. Uh, it's during installation. But what it allows you to do is get that camera up at the 10 or 12 or 15 feet. Um, go have someone stand you know, out at 50, 60 feet, 80 feet, whatever you need. Go park that car out at 80 feet. Go, go take a magazine and put out at 80 feet and adjust the camera to the field of view so you're getting the clarity that you want at the distance. And there's a trade-off. There's a trade-off between zooming and horizontal view. This is wide angle, and at 40 feet, things are gonna get really small. Now, as you zoom a camera in, you start to lose your horizontal distance, but things become very big, like I just did. That's the trade-off, and that's why you need a manual zoom lens, because you need that ability to be able to zoom it in and out and adjust it so you're capturing what you want to at the distances that you're working with. Uh, this camera right here, for example, this is a, this is a bulletproof camera here. 300 foot, night vision, outdoor, um, extreme weather, uh, zoom, and focus. So you mount the camera, you zoom it, you focus it, boom, you got it. Now you've got facial recognition at 80 feet. Now you're capturing license plates going up and down the road at 65 feet away. Um, so I highly recommend using a manual zoom camera. They're affordable, and we have large selection and all the technologies on them. Okay, now let's move on and let's talk about digital zoom. As I mentioned, this is a function of the recorder. And you can digitally zoom into live video, the camera's feeding in, or you can zoom into recorded video, the playback. So let's talk a little bit about that. Now, we're all used to HD now, and we've all heard the term 1080p. 
1080p is a fixed resolution. It's uh, 2.1 megapixel. You hear megapixels, you hear everything else. Hey, we're not going to confuse you with pixels and megapixels and everything else. So we're going to clear that up with my pretty drawing here. Forgive me, I didn't have a right angle, so things, <laughs> things aren't exactly square, but it works. Okay, so um, let's say we have a high definition white screen monitor. Um, very nice crystal clear 1080p video is what that will support. Now, if you have a two megapixel camera, the two megapixel camera actually produces a video format that's larger than the monitor is designed to produce. And so what it does, when you're playing it back, it takes that two megapixel picture here in the blue and it scrunches it down so that it's displayed on the monitor. What that does is it actually provides an excess of data. It provides more data than the monitor needs to provide a crystal clear picture. So what it allows you to do is, with our systems, is to take the mouse and draw a box in an area. Let's say you just drew a box like that. And it will digitally zoom in to the picture. Now, in the old days, it instantly, if you digitally zoomed into a video, a, a surveillance camera video, it instantly pixelated. It just went blurry. We've all seen it. But because you're recording more data than the monitor needs and scrunching it down, you're actually zooming in to a picture, and it will keep its clarity to a certain point. After the point where you zoom too far, um, then it will start to pixelate and, and become blurry again. So two megapixel is excellent. Our CVI systems use uh, 1080p, very low cost, very high performance, and the digital zoom works very well. Now we've already talked about optical zoom, so, so a really high performance system would have a camera with an optical zoom. And then you use the digital zoom after you zoomed all the way in optically. So you can really reach out and get clarity of distances doing it that way. 3 megapixel, again, is 50% bigger than 2 megapixel. So it's a bigger format size here in red. And so when you scrunch that down and display it on a monitor, it looks crystal clear. But when you draw a box and you digitally zoom into it, it, it keeps its clarity even further. So you can digitally zoom into more detail uh, without it blurring, without it pixeling. 4 megapixel is the king right now. Um, because there is 4K, and we'll talk about that later, which is even bigger. 4K and 4, 4 megapixel are two different animals. 4 megapixel provides this very large video format that when you pull it down onto a monitor, you can zoom in a long way and keep the clarity. It works very well. 4K is even larger than 4 megapixel by far. Um, we've seen some 4K TVs and stuff come on the market, and that's fine. The problem is you have to balance performance, cost, and video storage. 4 megapixel is really the highest resolution that you need in surveillance because it balances very large uh, format with um, the amount of storage that you have. The blue, this is CVI down here in the blue. This is our HD, or should I do that? Let's start here. This is our HD. CVI. It's very good, it's very low cost. That is the biggest bang for your buck. Um, our HD CVI systems cost less than the old analog systems and you get phenomenal performance. It's very durable equipment, there's a large selection of cameras. The 3 and 4 megapixel are functions of our HD IP series and our Elite IP series. And uh, you will almost double in price to go from a CBI system to an Elite IP, but you are getting the best on the market. And it is phenomenal video. And you will get facial recognition, and you will get license plates with it. So um, that is the crash course on digital zoom. It's very effective. It's completely based on the resolution of the camera, how far you can digitally zoom in, and the resolution you have the recording set at. Uh, default, we set everything up at 1080p. But you can record in 3 megapixel and 4 megapixel. Okay. That's digital zoom.